Hey guys, Todd the Snake Man here. This morning we had a little bit of a tragedy, but I thought I'd maybe turn that into an educational video. We got called out about a rattlesnake, and they, people had it contained, um, but by the time we got out there, it was 35 miles away, the snake unfortunately had passed away. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you guys the difference between a Northern Pacific rattlesnake the only rattlesnake we have here in Fresno, and a Pacific gopher snake, which is probably the most common snake we have in Fresno. This is a Northern Pacific rattlesnake, Croatus oregonus. You can see their pattern on their back. It's not diamond back, not diamond shaped. Pattern is designed to break up their body shape when they're in the brush and the grasses. You can see their tail. This one looks like it was broken off or something damaged, so it probably couldn't even rattle if it wanted to. And their head shape is not diamond back. I mean, not diamond shaped, <laughs> sorry, like everybody says a rattlesnake should be. Um, does kind of look like an arrow, but not quite diamond shaped. On the other hand, the gopher snake, as you see here, the pattern is similar, but almost opposite. And their tails are pointy, like the sharp end of a pencil versus the stub end on a rattlesnake that looks like the eraser tip. And you can look at their heads. They're almost basically aligned with their bodies. There's no difference between where the jaws are and where their neck is. Although when threatened, when they're hissing, they will throw those jaws out to make their heads look similar to a diamond back or a rattlesnake. They just throw those jaws out while they're hissing. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Difference between a rattlesnake and a gopher snake here in Fresno County. Please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next week for another video.